All right, welcome back to Duskers. Finally get to put this game to rest because I'm not gonna do another video of this. Yeah, uh, this this game is just, you know, it was fun at first, but it, it's kind of just getting repetitive, you know. But we'll give this one and then we'll do the quarantine here and then we'll finish it up by doing Let's do the other quarantined as well after this. Alright. Oh, I don't have a quarantine bypass. Okay then! So I will just... Go here! To the whirlpool! Yay, let's do this. Check, 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 check. Alright. Scanning's inconclusive. Infestation types detected are two. Oh, hull integrity medium. Age 174. Stable. Name Whirlpool. Class Fuel Depot B. Directive Commercial Distribution. So it has fuel. Crew of one. Hold is unknown. Oh, there was communications found in it. Fix the food replicator and B wing. Trust a hiccup in the communicator, firing crazy sick blah, 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 to the molecular assembler. No problem now, though. Made myself up an amazing slice of lemon meringue. Before little fellows are firing on all cylinders again. Doubt anyone will complain. Blah, 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 as fine as that pie. Man, that pie is. Blah, blah, blah. I'll fire a report out to Leyland when I get back up to engineering. Let them know their babies are all good. I'm guessing that is no, but it's all messed up. Jill, linking out with theory index Grey Goo molecular assemblage reference requires further investigation. Recommended course of action. Gather further log data about molecular assemblers from space stations or fuel depots. Okay. Oh, lovely. Alright. Back at it again. With the new crew. Alright, we have no motion detector. Lovely! So it seems like these two rooms are safe, so... That's good. Zach with the interface, interface with the computer here, please. Please and thank you. It's just, the game gets a little bit, interface not, oh, right. The game gets a little bit repetitive. For what you do in it. I mean, it's a cool concept, it's a cool idea, but it really does get really repetitive real quick. It kind of just throws you in, so it, it definitely has that indie feel where it's like, it doesn't really know what it's doing, but it has a cool idea, you know. Okay, oh. Oh, generator. Lovely! There we go. So now I got that powered. 
So the shield is basically so I'm gonna enter a room, turn on the shield. Enter a room. know something is in the R8 so I'm going to get it back to D29 don't know if it will go back I'm just gonna hope nope it did not Trying to beat down the door.
I don't understand this transport signal thing. Uh, this game. It's a bit of a learning curve, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. It has a learning curve. Hmm, Sarah's destroyed. You have a stun mine. Cool. Not helpful. There's life signs, I'm guessing, from it keep on telling me. I really don't want to get into R11, but... That's where the turret's at. I don't know how to transport. Do I need like a component on my guys as well? My drones as well? See, it doesn't really explain any of that. Which is the problem with this game. Oh right, it's not in R9 anymore. It's in the room down here. R8. Died in the door, that's fine. Well, I mean, the graphics for this game is extremely... It's designed well for what it is. It's very well designed. But it's like... The game itself is a very much a niche click kind of game. Lost a drone there. That's great. I'm just gonna actually just leave this rust bucket. And say, you know what, this game this game was fun. This game was fun. It was entertaining at first for a while. The the concept of the whole console keyboard command 
for your the drones is quite quite intelligent quite very interesting um would I say would that make a entire game out of it mm, not so much anyway uh, got more propulsion, more scrap. Yeah, so that's this game. Uh, Duskers. Would I recommend it to anyone? Uh, I would recommend it for a group of people to play, to kind of just experiment with, you know, talk over, just kind of play in the background. Though, would I recommend someone to buy this game? Not really, no. Though it is a good game. It's just I wouldn't recommend it. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, the last one of Duskers, and see you in the next video. Um, yeah.